basically come in on the resistance side and they only have a minute that we're trying to hold off the team with. I'm going to use this command post straight away and go engineer and I'm going to try and make this last 50 seconds count by putting down a defense turret that helps defend this location. So I can see here that the team that have brought their defasal robot right through to the other side of the map and they're trying to get it to this crane location and I'm being told at the top this is where I need to go. It will reroute for me automatically. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> That's him out. And I'm going to try in these final 27 seconds to stop them from making progress with this bot by putting down this defense turret, which is going to give me a little bit of backup. And this is what they're trying to do on security. They're trying to get this crane constructed. They're trying to get this diffuser robot across. And they've literally got 12 seconds to try and make that happen. Nine, eight. Someone's attacking my robot. Ah! So the whole point of this mission was that they were trying to get their diffuser robot through our container city. They were going to cut into a container. They were going to steal the data and get it back to a waiting chopper. Luckily, we stopped them, and the mission for us is completed and successful. At this point, if this were the full game, I could now go back into my menu and I could choose some customization options. So I could go in and modify the look of my character. I could modify and customize my weapons, or I could buy a bunch of different abilities. So I'll show you how that works here quickly. I start with my base character. And you know, the idea behind this is that I want to be able to zoom in on any component I like and just make changes immediately to the way my guy looks. So I'm going to get rid of his face gear. I'm going to get rid of his facial hair. I'm going to pick a different archetype. I'm going to choose somebody good looking like me. <laughs> yeah, is it? Actually, I think I probably look a bit more like this guy. No. Him, <laughs> to be fair. Although they probably don't have a pale enough bird. There we go. So now we have someone who looks like me. <laughs> what I'm going to do is um, give them a little bit of face paint as well. I think I'm going to have the clown face paint. And I'm going to choose a different outfit. Maybe the voice. Yeah, that looks cool. And, uh, and make some changes. I can change not just the color of the outfits and stuff. I'm going to go for something that's a bit cooler looking. And now I've got my cool looking character. Of course, if I was playing as the security, I'd be modifying a different guy. And I can do the same stuff with him as well. I can add things like different shirts. I can add different tops. And I can create really crazy combinations of things that just give me someone who looks just completely different from the, you know, the resistance character that I've been playing at the same time. And so there's my security guy. And here's my resistance guy. If I want to, I can also drop in and make modifications to my weapons too. So I'm going to go ahead and select the rare assault rifle. This is my favorite weapon in the game. And I can add things like an AR drum magazine, a front crit. If I wanted to, I could also add a suppressor, a muzzle brake, a silencer to the front. I can swap out those iron sights on the top for a scope hat or a full scope or various different red dot sights. And while I'm doing it down here in the corner, it's telling me what the effect of those modifications are. So I can see that my bottom grip and my magazine have decreased my accuracy, but given me slightly better stability, but they've also reduced my equip speed. So as people learn the game, it's easy for them to customize a weapon that suits their preferred playing style. And they can do that with pistols and things too. So I can just create really crazy combinations of things like this. And so, uh, that's great. Thank you very much. That'd be fantastic. Thank you very much. Seriously.